Hello, and welcome to this week's Penn Energy News Update. I'm Hilton Price. BP has announced it has reached an agreement to sell its Texas City refinery and a portion of its retail and logistics network in the southeast U.S. to Marathon Petroleum Corporation. The agreement is for a reported $2.5 billion. BP's global refining and marketing chief said the agreement marks a second milestone in the company's strategic refocus on its U.S. fuels business. The company also recently sold another refinery. That one was located in Carson, California. ConocoPhillips has announced a decision not to pursue further exploration activities in Peru Blocks 123 and 129. The company's vice president of exploration says the decision was reached after careful consideration. He called the decision part of the company's broader strategic effort to reevaluate its investments. ConocoPhillips' 45% interest will be transferred to Gran Tierra Energy Peru SRL. Operatorship of the blocks will be transferred following government approvals. ConocoPhillips says it will work with Peru Petro and Gran Tierra to facilitate an efficient transition. Canada is expected to see modest growth through 2013, but a new report says a great proportion of that will come exclusively from oil and gas exploration. The Bank of Montreal projects Canada's gross domestic product will grow around 2.2% this year and 2% next year. But all six of the country's eastern provinces are projected to fall below this national average, with the difference being covered by strong growth from the four oil-producing provinces in the west. Alberta, in particular, is expected to see GDP growth of 3.5% in 2012, followed by 2.9% next year, stronger than any other province. Aside from GDP growth, the western provinces are seeing notably lower unemployment, with Alberta's rate expected to drop to 4.5% by next year. The International Energy Agency says Iraq's energy sector holds the key to the country's future prosperity and can make a major contribution to the stability and security of global energy markets. It's all in a special report released by the agency, the first time it has conducted a comprehensive review of the energy sector of a major Middle East producer. The IEA's Iraq Energy Outlook finds that Iraq makes by far the largest contribution to global oil supply growth over the coming decades, with current production of 3 million barrels per day more than doubling by 2020 and going on to reach more than 8 million barrels per day by 2035. The report says Iraq becomes a key supplier to fast-growing Asian markets and will become the world's second largest oil exporter by the 2030s, overtaking Russia. Baker Hughes Incorporated has announced the international rig count for September 2012. International rigs numbered 1254, down 7 from the 1261 counted in August of this year, and up 80 from the 1174 counted in September of last year. The average U.S. rig count for September 2012 was 1859, down 54 from the 1913 counted in August 2012, and down 119 from the 1978 counted in September of last year. The average Canadian rig count for September 2012 was 356, up 40 from the 316 counted in August 2012 and down 154 from the 510 counted in September of last year. Thank you for joining us this week. For these stories and more, head to penenergy.com.